All right, everybody. Let's see, is it live? Is it going live? Is it up there? There we go. Oh, it's a little far. Bring it a little closer. Okay. Good evening, everybody. It's been a while. Um, I wish there was a better reason for uh, me to be live again, um, but uh, as you all may have heard, uh, Olivia Newton-John passed away earlier today, so I decided to do a live stream tonight, um, celebrating some of my favorite songs, our favorite songs of Olivia's. She was a very big part of my uh, my growing up pop music a lot of songs uh, that I have uh, loved playing listening to uh, singing in karaoke have been Olivia's songs so uh, let's get started uh, with this great number one hit of her Oh, 
That was the magic. Uh, from Xanadu, one of my favorite cheesy movie musicals, um, which actually it's the anniversary of uh, Xanadu's release, so a little bit of coincidental irony, whatever you call it there. Um, all right, let's move on to another big song. Um, you all know this one. This one was one of the first songs I ever did in karaoke uh, at Brass Monkey uh, in Koreatown in downtown LA. This is one of Olivia's biggest hits from 1981. It's called Physical. So everybody get working out and sing along for this one. Here we go. top of the charts. You could not escape this song. I remember this as a little four-year-old hearing it all the time, not realizing what the lyrics of the song were about. It was a great song, great video. And from that album is um, another wonderful song. I actually like it better than Physical. Um, it is one that I finally found the sheet music for, the proper sheet music for this. Um, 
earlier this year, actually. Um, let me just fix this, and this will go here. Um, it's the other single from, uh, thank you, Chris, thank you, Jim, uh, from that album. It was another, I think, a top five hit, uh, but I love this song. She did it with John Farrar, who is one of her longtime um, songwriting partners, and it's a wonderful bit of 80s pop that was another staple of 1982 radio. It's called Make a Move on Me. years after the fact um, on eBay. All right, let's go to a very early Olivia song. This was part of, uh, there was a wave of, like literally a couple of months ago, I found a bunch of songs which I could not find for the longest time from Olivia. And um, I mean, there's, um, I haven't had a chance to really play these, so some of these I'm sight reading for the first time. But this one is, uh, hey Ryan, thank you as well. Uh, 
Let's go to another one here. This one is another John Farrar song. This is oh, really early, from 1973. It's a ballad, and it's a ballad about Sam. Here we go. First time doing this, so this is pure psych reading here, but um, I can't think of it a more appropriate time to try it than now. Here we go. Her first few songs had a bit more of a country twang to them, and then she obviously uh, moved into pop and disco and 80s pop. Um, speaking of that, switch to pop. Here's a song from uh, one of her first post Grease singles. Another one that I took me forever to find the sheet music for, but I'm glad I have it here now. Let's see how this goes. This one is called A Little More Love.
Where did my innocence go? How I was a young girl to know Trapped Trapped in the span of your eyes In the walk of your own Celebration of her wonderful music and her life. Um, Phil and I have had a wonderful opportunity to meet her at her concert when we saw her perform in Las Vegas uh, six years ago, 2016, and she was just a delight uh, and just one of the sweetest and, and put on a fantastic show. So, um, so very lucky to have had that experience. Um, continuing on, let's go with this wonderful song. From Xanadu. Called Suspended in Time. So 
your eyes hold me tenderly and I'll shine in my memory forever how can a love succeed a miracle is what we need and so I appeal to you Suspended in Time, one of the uh, one of the hidden gems of um, of Xanadu. All right, um, here is one that is probably the most obscure Olivia song that I'll be doing tonight, but it's emerging of Olivia Newton-John with the forces of. My all-time favorite, Elton John, along with Bernie Taupin. Yes, Olivia and John had a single that was written by Elton John and Bernie Taupin. Should have been a much bigger hit than it was. You probably heard me do it before on the Elton Uncovered series, but I'm going to do it again. Thank you, Jim. Some Xanadu rainbows there. Here it is. It's called The Rumor.
just a thing of the truth, it's just a thing of the past. It's a rumor written by Elton John and Bernie Taupin for Olivia and John. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more before we wrap it up. Let's see what I've got here. Ain't no stopping the top, and you said it right, Jim. Okay. A few more here. This could be disastrous. <laughs> but this is one of Phil's requests, and it is one of the, her greatest duets. Maybe I was trying to sing this in the car and it didn't sound well, but I'm going to try it anyway. All right. It's from Greece. Have to do a song from Greece. Here we go. As a solo. What happened here? We're going to try this again. Hold on. We're going to restart the app. See, this is live. This is actually happening live. I got chills that multiply and why is it hit here? Let's try it again. It's a wonderful thing about these digital sheet music books is that you can find them, but then... Um, Here we go. That was a false start. Here we go. It's the other one that I want. are disappearing. I'll actually show you here. Here it is. That's weird. Okay. I swear we're going to try this one more time because third time's the charm here. Okay. There's no stopping to Toppin, but apparently there's stopping John Farrar and his original song is from Greece. One more time, everybody.
hit duet with John Travolta from the smash hit Grease. Such a fantastic song. All right. Last couple of songs here. Here we go. We're going to go to one, another one of her early songs uh, that fellow Australian uh, P Peter Allen, Shake Shack, yes, um, that Peter Allen wrote. And um, it is just a gorgeous song. One of the great power ballads of all time and one of her first major hits. This is called I Honestly Love You. Love you, Olivia. Love you, Peter Allen and James Barry for that uh, one. Jeff Barry, excuse me, for that fantastic song. All right, last song. Um, let's end it on an upbeat note here. Um, let me see if I can find it. I don't know if we even have it here, but we're gonna do it. 
in this wonderful song. Uh, yes, it's a very hard, as you are hearing, Jim, a very hard song to do. All right, here we go. The final, fin the finale. Um, get out your roller skates, get out your disco shoes uh, and disco boots and all that wonderful thing because uh, we are going to bring it to a close with um, the title track from Xanadu. If I can find it. Hold on. While I do that. There we go. Electric Light Orchestra. There we go. Um, but anyway, um, before I go on to that, just again, a big thank you to Olivia and John, whose music was an indelible part of my life growing up. And uh, my mom, uh, just brings me my my mom too, because she would always play Olivia and John as well in the house and grew up watching it. Xanadu is one of my all-time favorite movies. And as a result of that, I'm going to do this as the final song. Thank you all for listening and letting me indulge. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, play some, uh, watch some Xanadu. Watch, just even watch, you know, watch whenever you're away from me. That is one of the most joyous numbers in movie musical history with uh, Gene Kelly. Uh, do a favor and look at that. Uh, clip sometimes night in honor of Olivia. Here we go. Xanadu, where ELO and Olivia and John meet together in a joyous combination. <laughs>
Thank you, Olivia, for all the music. I'll see y'all later. Bye.